Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's start looking at some special cases when we try to solve linear equations in algebra. The first case is we have something that looks like this. We have two fractions that equal to each other. A over B is equal to C over D. And here's an example of that. X divided by 3 equals 8 over 9. Whenever we have a situation like that, we have two fractions that equal to each other, we can literally move things across a diagonal line. So if you think about it, there's a diagonal line running from A to D, and there's a diagonal line running from B to C, which means we can move the A down this way, we can move the D up there, we can move the C down here, we can move the B up there, any combination thereof. But in other words, we can go from here to here, and notice I move the D up here and the A down here, I move the B up here and the C down here, so the fractions now look like this. We simply moved everything across the diagonal. Or, in this case, I can move the A up here, I can move the C up here and the B down here, I get AD over B equals C, just like what I have over here. Or, I can go from here to here, in other words, I can move the D down here and write A equals BC over D. Or over here, I can move the D up and the A down, so I get D equals BC over A. And notice there's an infinite number of ways in which I can move things from one to another. Also, I can move everything over to one side. But in other words, I can move the A up here and the BC down here. So I can also write this as D or A times D in the numerator divided by b times c is equal to 1, and again, I can move the d down here, write 1 equals bc over ab, so with other words, let me just go ahead and do it, I can move the d down here and write this as 1 equals bc over ad, and notice I can just move things along the diagonal, and whatever I write, it's exactly the same as what I had before, but in a different format. So using that principle, I look at this equation right here, and notice if I want to isolate the x, I move the 3 across the diagonal. I simply am going to take the 3 and move it across to over here when I multiply that times the 8. So in other words, this becomes whoop, x is equal to 3 times 8 divided by 9. And then I realize the 3 and the 9. I can divide the 3 by 3, and the 9 by 3 gives me 3. And so x is therefore equal to 8 divided by 3. So I can use this simple technique where when I have two fractions that equal to each other, I can move things along the diagonal the way I need to in order to isolate the x and I can simplify and get the solution very, very quickly by using this approach. And that's what we can do when we have the special case where we have a over b equals c over d. We can simply move things along the diagonal. Notice that whatever we end up with is simply a multiplication of the terms that are there. And that is how it's done.